Come out, Hideo. Has anyone seen the new champion? Come on, Hideo. Stop hiding from me, Hideo. Last week was an eye-opener. I needed to tap into my violent self to be as successful as I know that I am. Exe, your woods. Exe, your woods. Exe, your woods. Exe, your woods. Tonight, I'm cashing in on my title rematch clause for the Cruiserweight Championship. I wouldn't have lost it in the first place if Woods hadn't have used that for an object last week. I'm the face of SmackDown. Kalisto is a pretender in a mask. Look, I, uh, I know AJ's mad. I know AJ's in a... He's a great wrestler, but I'm better. Tonight, I'm going to prove that I am better. Lucha Thing style. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Welcome to SmackDown. Down live. We are hailing from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Dean Ambrose is on the hunt for Hideo Atami. Dean Ambrose will not be getting what he is expecting. Bo Dallas out, dressed up as a member of D Generation X, claims that he wants the hardcore title and he's embracing Road Dog, one of his favorite hardcore champions. Foolish Bo Dallas attempts to shake Ambrose's hands at the beginning of the match. As you know, hardcore title match is always on the line. If you're in the ring with the hardcore title, you better be expecting a match. Ambrose slugfest on the outside of the ring, pelting Bo Dallas with right hands. Bo Dallas retaliating with stares to Dean Ambrose. Unfortunately, Dean Ambrose gets the upper hand, retaliates, and brutalizes Bo. Dean Ambrose with a nasty headbutt to the ropes, following it up with a suicide dive. Bo Dallas stealing dirty deeds. Oh my god. Dean surviving, running knee strike for three. That's going to give him the victory for the hardcore title. Dean Ambrose defeating Bo Dallas getting injured actually has an injury now for the next couple of weeks perhaps he's learned his lesson perhaps not dean ambrose improving to a 12 and 8 record and bo dallas falling to a 2 and 2 record dean ambrose looks impressive the following matchup is christian versus neville neville lost the light heavyweight championship to hideo atami at night of champions last week on smackdown neville lost to d lo brown is Neville in a free fall here after his rivalry against Austin Aries? Neville's coming into this matchup at 10 and 6. Christian is coming into this matchup at 5 and 3. Different records, same win percentage. I want to know who's the better man. Christian excelling on the outside of the ring, dealing out loads of damage against the barriers, the steel post. Neville, however, on the inside is the superior man. Being faster, using those ropes, we get an inverted Frankensteiner from Neville. Instead of going for the pin, Neville elects to go for the Mikanoku driver, setting up for, yes, the return of the Red Arrow. High-flying Neville is back. Unfortunately, it doesn't go his way. Christian, reverse DDT for three. Christian is your victor in this matchup. Even though the Red Arrow and the high-flying style of Neville has returned, Neville has not yet been able to acclimate that high-flying style into a victory. Neville falls to 10 and 7. Christian improves to 6 and 3, which is a very impressive record. The following matchup is a Tornado Tag Extreme Rules matchup. This is coming about because Titus O'Neil and Darren Young, the primetime players, were beaten and upset by the debuting American Alpha, and they want to see if American Alpha is as tough as they are. American Alpha undefeated, they are 1-0. and oh. The Wyatt family at 5-4. and four. History lesson here, primetime players upset the Wyatt family in the tough tag tournament that culminated at SummerSlam. We get a battle on the outside. Eric Rowan and Chad Gable, Jason Jordan and Luke Harper giving everything they got, brawling. Jason Jordan angle slam to the chair. Then we get a suplex to the chair. This is ridiculous. Gable with a German suplex, he bridges it over Rowan for three. American Alpha is victorious. They improve to two and oh, the Wyatt family fall to five and five. American Alpha is now challenging primetime players to an extreme rules tornado tag match in two weeks. The following matchup, is Xavier Woods versus Zack Ryder. Woods is out to prove that he is competitive in singles competition. He is not 
the weak link of the New Day. Xavier Woods coming into this matchup at 4-2. and two. Zack Ryder coming into this matchup at 3-2. and two. Pretty similar records. Let's see what happens. Last week, Woods DQ'd against AJ Styles to avoid a loss. Xavier Woods controlling the match, heads to the top rope, crashes, and burns. Xavier Woods with that jab combo. This is that violent side that he was talking about. More punches, less wrestling. Xavier Woods with a big boot to the steel post. Good God. When Xavier Woods said he was going to be violent, I did not expect this. Woods celebrating on the inside. He thinks he's won it. Referee only at eight. Ryder back in the ring. Reverse DDT for two. Zack Ryder measuring up. Rough Ryder connecting again. Only for two. Woods back to his feet. Jab combo once again. He has knocked Zack Ryder out. It's a three count. Xavier Woods is victorious. Xavier Woods will improve to a 5-2 record, which is very, very impressive. And Zack Ryder falls to 3-3. Three and three. Not too bad. And it appears we are ready for the main event. What is up, ladies and gentlemen from Colorado Springs, Colorado? We are here for the main event of the evening. It is for the Cruiserweight Championship. Real quickly, I would like to say that it was a easy decision this week. SmackDown won the brand war for this week by far. I'm much more interested in SmackDown than I am in Raw. And uh, it's, I mean, for very obvious reasons. This is the third Monday Night Raw in a row that they have put Roman Reigns in the main event. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I love Roman Reigns as a guy and as a character, but you're shoving him down my throat, WWE. And I don't know if you're trying to hide it or not. I don't think you are. I think you're just saying, look, I know he messed up. We're giving him a U.S. title run, which really still is kind of a pr not... I mean, he's still a champion, which is bullshit. He got wellnessed out. Punish him. Send a message. My goodness, WWE. It looks like they're sending a message. Loads of people wellnessed out. Loads of people injured out. Monday Night Raw was a, a pretty much the same Monday Night Raw that happened a month ago with Finn Balor winning the number one contendership. And now it looks like they're going to be doing the same thing. Hopefully it goes KO's way next week on Monday Night Raw. But easily SmackDown. I'm not even going to go into SmackDown because that's how good it was. Uh, if you guys are interested in me talking about wrestling and stuff... That'd be great. I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. That way I can kind of separate this review from what we're actually doing here, which is an in-storyline type video. So let's get to it. You don't even need to review SmackDown. SmackDown was awesome. Go watch it. It was great. Again, awesome. Well, we are here for the main event. Awesome things have been happening all night tonight on SmackDown. Hardcore title to start off the show as Dean Ambrose was looking for Hideo Itami. He found... A, a bow dog version of road dog uh bow dallas coming out it, he calls himself bow x he wanted the hardcore title he was embracing road dog dean ambrose easily defeating him there christian and neville had a great match american alpha sending out a challenge to prime time players and xavier woods being vicious we are here for the main event it is for the cruiserweight championship AJ Styles losing this Cruiserweight Championship at the Night of Champions pay-per-view. He is already wanting a rematch, and it is happening tonight. He says that Kalisto is a fluke champion. The only reason Kalisto was even close at Night of Champions was because of last week's altercation with Xavier Woods. Kalisto, on the other hand, says, I never got my rematch, and when I finally got it, I beat AJ Styles. He's the fluke champion. This is the rubber match. This is the one where we're going to find out who is dominant. Tuesday night, SmackDown Live. Beginning of the match, going AJ Styles' way. Styles says he is the face of SmackDown. He calls Kalisto a coward for hiding behind a mask. Oh, huge super kick. My goodness. Wow. Many titles changing hands at the Night of Champions pay-per-view. The Legends title successfully defended the World uh, WWE Championship title. Also defended every other championship did indeed change hands. St 
Styles back on top. Grabbing for the legs, wrapping himself around it, dropping the full body weight on the knee of Kalisto. That's going to slow him down. Kalisto's a high flyer. He needs to run. He needs to gain that speed. He's nothing without his knee. Michinoku Driver. He's going to follow it up. AJ Styles with a big shoulder block. Michinoku Driver news, by the way, again on Monday Night Raw. AJ, uh, Michael Cole screwed up the Michinoku Driver again in a Sami Zayn match. I'm not sure if he hates the Michinoku Driver or if he hates Sami Zayn, but one of the two things is happening there. He does not know what that move is. Kalisto with a jawbreaker to Styles. AJ Styles. Kalisto, very technical match here to start out. Not a lot of damage being done. A lot of evasive maneuvers. A lot of interesting reversals and evasions happening here in this matchup. I think that's the second time that I have seen. Kalisto drop AJ on his back and grab those legs. Oh, both arms draped behind the back. Suplex. I don't even know what that move is called. It's got to be a a, dra a reverse dragonfly suplex. It's That's what it has to be. If anyone knows the name of that move, please let me know. Kalisto going for the pin. Not even close. We haven't even seen anything spectacular out of either of these two. It's been a lot of reversals here. AJ Styles dodging a drop kick, hitting a German suplex. Look at this. Kalisto taking his turn to turn the tides. This is a battle for the Cruiserweight Championship. This title was held in the beginning of this universe mode by Kalisto for many a month, about three months or so. He was very dominant as the Cruiserweight Champion. AJ Styles comes along, wins the championship off of Kalisto. Kalisto never got his rematch, and AJ Styles has been carrying this title for the past three months or so. It's been very competitive in the Cruiserweight division and a very dominant between these two champions. We will figure out who is the most dominant tonight in this matchup as Kalisto. What is he going for here? It's a package. Oh, and he reverses it. He's got the pin. He doesn't hold it. Oh, wow. He doesn't hold it. He was too close to the ropes. He was scared of a rope break. He pins one, two, and that might have cost him the match. What an excellent maneuver from Kalisto. Just bad positioning. Kalisto is once again your Cruiserweight Champion. He is a two-time Cruiserweight Champion in this Universe Mode. Of course, this Universe Mode is going to be continuing on into next year's 2K17 Universe. Some people will leave. Some people will show up. It'll be a very flowy type Universe Mode. It will continue. This is canon. Cruiserweight Champion two times, Mr. Kalisto. Styles. Looking for a suplex there. A reversal dropped on his arms. Seems like Kalisto is doing some reversals and it's affecting that, that left arm of AJ Styles. Where Styles is targeting the legs of Kalisto. Kalisto's going for a table here. And AJ Styles allowing for the destruction of the table to take place. Just baiting Kalisto. Waiting for him to turn around. Good God, a huge big boot to the side of the face. I don't know what Kalisto was thinking there, but... It definitely cost him a lot of time. Kalisto was very close to I both of those ropes. AJ Styles, what is he going for here? Oh, top rope. 450 splash. One, two, kick out. My God. That was ridiculous. We haven't seen a 450 splash like that since Justin Gabriel. Nice STO takedown, again, affecting the midsection of Kalisto. Just stomping down on the abdomen of Kalisto. My god. This is a fun fact. Last week, Xavier Woods nearly beaten by AJ Styles, but Xavier Woods would disqualify himself 
to escape the match with the champion in a non-finish. AJ Styles hitting Styles Clash, turning over. He's got the one, two, no, oh, kick out. That looked so close. Oh, my God. Oh, huge knee stopping AJ from escaping out of the ring. Lucha chance, Lucha things happening in this SmackDown main event. Kalisto going to go for Salida Del Sol, connecting. One, two, kick out. The fans here in Colorado Springs, Colorado, they showed up for SmackDown and they have a hell of a title match in the main event. They're on their feet here in Colorado Springs. AJ tossed into the corner. AJ turns it around. Big elbow to the face of AJ Styles. AJ Styles is bleeding now. I can confirm this. AJ Styles gets kicked. And oh my god, vicious. Spinning heel kick and Kalisto observing the damage that was done there. The neck of AJ Styles. There's that kick to the side of the temple. AJ Styles starting to get upset. He just absorbed that kick. Hops right into a grapple by Kalisto. Kalisto. It's a Frankensteiner there. AJ Styles still moving. Kalisto trying to keep him down and to stop him from crawling and getting back to his feet. Kick dodged by AJ. AJ gets caught with a second. Salida Del Sol. Perfect positioning. One, two, three, it's over. And still, your cruiserweight champion, Kalisto. Just watch these highlights. Look at this move here. He just grabs the neck of AJ, crumples him up like a pretzel, and slams him down. And if he wasn't next to the ropes, he would have pinned him right there. Dominant win for Kalisto. A huge upset in the rankings. AJ Styles has been very dominant. Kalisto has fallen a few steps, but I think he's shown that he's back in his prime age. He is ready to be a defender of the Cruiserweight Championship once again. There's that big boot from AJ Styles. And here we go. This is the 450 splash. Watch it. Look at this. Look how close Kalisto is. Watch the precision of AJ Styles. Look at this. Oh, God. That should have been it right there. Kalisto kicks out. Kalisto hits his second Salida Del Sol. He is still your cruiserweight champion. He has bloodied AJ Styles. AJ Styles furious on the outside. Kalisto still your cruiserweight champion of the world. SmackDown has a new cruiserweight champion, and he has just proven that he is a dominant cruiserweight champion. What is next for the cruiserweight title? Find out next week on SmackDown. Coming up next, we may be going to Monday Night Raw, or we may be discussing WWE 2K17 soundtrack. I will be doing one of the either, most likely the soundtrack though. If you want to check out your comments on these videos, head on over to Gift of the Gods Gaming channel and you can find that video there each and every week. It usually is out uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday at some point where I dive into your comments and we discuss wrestling on a more informal basis. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you for your support. Prophet God. GG.